What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Evolving United. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are on episode number 187. And if you missed the last episode, you missed a big one. We did pack none other than the Manja Vidic, his great to the game card. He was very, very good. I cannot wait to keep using this card. I can't believe this, but actually at this stage of the game, I'm enjoying it. Genuinely. First time, I think... For a long time that I'm enjoying the last few weeks of a FIFA or FC game. And a large part of that is this series and this team that we've got. We're still getting some good Evos come out. There was a new one released last night which we will talk about shortly. But yeah, I'm, I've been enjoying playing with this team lately. It's been a lot of fun. And I can't wait. I can't wait for FC 25 to be honest. Can't wait to start all over again. We did also review Dimitar Berbatov in the last episode. He was fantastic. Honestly, the best 20,000 coins I think you're going to spend. He was brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Now, with all that being said, um, Iqbal is going to expire in a few hours. And I'm going to leave him on these stats with these playstyles. I think he will still fit into other evolutions. And... I think that could, in the long run, work out better. He's got Incisive Pass and Anticipate Plus, which are two quite nice playstyles to have. But we'll see. We'll have to see how that one goes. But he will expire if we head over to the Evolutions tab. You will see there is a brand new Evo, as I said last night. We've got two cards that already fit into here. Look, in terms of a boost and what it offers, it's not the best thing you're ever going to see, right? There's some things I like and there's some things I don't like. So, max overall is 96 and it has to be a footies card. It can't be an Evo footies, just footies. Which is kind of sad. It offers one pace, two shooting, uh, two passing, two dribbling, two defending, two physical. So, not a bad little boost and... Look, for us personally, we've got some good options that fit into here. So, the choices we've got straight away on the account are Casemiro and Harry Maguire. Now, if I put Casemiro in, it goes up to a 98 rated DM. Obviously, he's 5 star, 5 star. Obviously, this card can also play centre back, which makes it so tempting 93 pace, 88 shooting, 90 passing, 88 dribbling, 98 defending with 96 physical. Great play styles and play style pluses. Again, a little bit sad that no anticipate, but he would officially be our highest rated card on the team. The other option that we've got in the club right now is Harry Maguire. And... Harry looks good also. 3 star, 4 stars a bit sad, but it's not the end of the world for a centre-back. Goes up to 97 overall. Can only play centre-back. Great pace. Good passing. Vision's a little bit low, but not the end of the world. Uh, decent dribbling for someone of 6 foot 4. He is 6 foot 4, yeah. 97 defending and 99 physical is fantastic, of course. Good play styles and play style pluses. Has anticipate. Doesn't have intercept. Yeah. At the minute. They're the two choices we've got. We will head over now. To foot.gg. And we will have a look. At the other options. So let's go. Alright then. So if we head over to here. And we put in. Past and present. Manchester United. You'll see we've got four options in total. In fact, I could have swore when I looked last night. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Could have swore the likes of Oli and stuff fit in. I might be wrong. Um, we've got Malasia, Sancho, and the two boys we've already looked at. So, let's have a look at Sancho and Malasia. Jane Sancho. Obviously, we had this card in the account before, and I loved it. The 96 version. He would also go up to a 98 overall. Good pace. Good shooting. Great passing. Really, really good passing. Perfect dribbling, pretty much. Reactions are a little bit low, but other than that, fantastic. 
Um, and good stam, good strength, good jumping. I mean, this card didn't get bullied before when we used it, so this will be better. Finesse shot, whip pass, power shot, technical. Nice. I like this Jaden Sancho card, I can't lie. Five star, five star. What would I even put on him? Would I go for a Hawk? Is it worth boosting them physicals? I'm not mad at that, though. I am not mad at that at all. Tyrell Malassia, then. Good pace. Passing still needs work on him. Yeah, powerhouse. That's what I would probably go for this card. Great pace. Shooting's kind of irrelevant. Um, really good passing net with that boost. And then decent dribbling. Little low on reactions, but not the end of the world. Great defending and great physicals. This Molassia card now. Alright, he's lacking a little bit in play styles. It's not the worst thing you're ever going to see. And I think he's cheap. However, I don't need him. If, if I'm honest with you guys, I don't need this card. So he's out the equation. For me, it's between Jaden Sancho, who, again, I don't think I need. I just don't. If we head back over to FC24, I genuinely believe it's one of these two that go in. It's either Casemiro or Maguire. They've both got the same playstyle pluses. I've only just noticed that. I am tempted to go for Casemiro, and I'll tell you why. The passing. And, and in fact, there's two reasons I'm, I'm tempted to go for this guy. There's a few. Five star, five star. He can play two positions, centre back and DM. I think in terms of a card, it's more well-rounded than Harry. What I do like about Maguire... Oh, not Aubameyang. What I do like about Maguire is the dribbling. I'm going to go for Casemiro. Yeah, we're going to pop in. Oh, am I? Do you know what? I'm just sitting here thinking. And it sounds mad to me, but is Maguire going to be more agile? <laughs> now, my initial thoughts was Cass. I think we're going to stick with that. So Casemiro is going to go in. And my plan is going to be... He will join that back three. I might drop Lissandro. And I might put in Casemiro. As mad as that sounds. Where is he? There he is. And I'd put Vidic at left centre back. Rio down the middle. Cass on the right. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way forward. That back three, by the way, is disgusting. Genuinely disgusting. Right. We'll come back to the squad in a minute. Let's go over to transfers. We have sold a hunter card. For 1,100 coins. Not too bad. I think, if I remember rightly, at the end of the last episode, we got another part G sung, didn't we? We did. Right. Let's go and pop him then into an 85 by 10. I'm going to save you guys the time. I'm going to go and build out maybe two or three. Depends on what I've got in the club that I can use. Then I'll come back and we'll start going through some packs. So I'll be right back. Right guys, I've just come to SBCs and there's a brand new player pick that I want us to try. It's quite expensive, but we got the cards in the club. So one of three, 93 plus, greats the game or footies icon player pick. Uh, there's some big Man United cards in there. And for this, you need an 89 rated team with a TOTS or a team of the week. And a 91 rated team. We've got so many big club. We've got so many big cards sitting in the club. I'm happy to do this. So I'm going to build one of these and two 85 by 10s, I hope. And I'll be right back. A few moments later. 285 by 10s have been built. And also the icon player pick has been built. Honestly, you guys know the drill. Any Man United players that we haven't got, I'd even take a Schmeichel. I'd be over the moon. But anyone we haven't got, just don't give me a Vidic. Not again. Let's see what we're going to get. Come on. 
be good to me be good to me yes thank you very much yes 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 come on i know he's probably worth like well he's about 200k last time i looked the other day and torres is probably expensive ashley cole's probably expensive i don't care peter schmeichel is joining the club as an untradeable i love it let's go and you know what that's massive oh right hold on hold that thought a second if I go to footbin, I bet he's dirt cheap now, right? Peter. Oh, he's down to about 115. Look, I, I still will take it, of course. It's more coins back in the club. Well, Torres is 91k. Why am I surprised by this? Ashley Cole, 66. Holy. Peter Schmeichel, thank you very much. Right, with Peter Schmeichel, let's take him. What we're going to do, we're going to, of course, swap him with the tradable one that we had in the club. He can go up to the transfer list. So glad we've done that now. Before we open any 85 by 10s, let's uh, hop onto the market. I want to get him listed up as quick as possible. Peter Schmeichel is great of the game. Currently, it's less than 120. That's okay. So 119 is the current cheapest. I'm going to go for about 117 just to try and get the money in the club. So we lost about 80,000 coins. That's not the end of the world. That really isn't the end of the world. Yeah, we'll go for 117. Up goes Peter Schmeichel. We've got him untradeable. Let's go. That's another big pull. I will take that all day. Guys, he's already sold, which is fantastic and do you know why that's so good i'm going to show you why there's a card that came out the other day that we looked at and i can't believe how cheap he is it is of course Laurent blanc now when um what is he? he's a footy's icon when the game first started Laurent blanc was unbelievable he was in everyone's team right everyone no one quite knew how the power curve was going to go this year. And I'm starting to regret putting... I'm starting to regret putting Casemiro into that Evo because... I think Laurent Blanc could start a centre-back and Cass... We could have put Jaden Sancho in instead. Um, he's five-star, four-star, centre-back, DM, centre-mid and Cam. Good pace. Passing's a bit meh, in all fairness. Good dribbling, great defending, great physicals, great playstyle pluses, great playstyles in general. Blanc could be really nice. I don't think I'm going to pick him up right now. We might give it a day or two, see what he drops to. Um, but I've heard some really positive things about this card, and we've got the coins in the bank to do so. And yeah, like I say, he's down to one, 119 at the minute. So let's see what he drops to. Now, let's clear off Peter Schmeichel. And let's head over to the store. And let's not waste any time. Well, let's hopefully not waste any time. Yeah, they're not there. Right, let's open a couple of packs to get the 85 by 10s in view. I feel like our pack luck's been slightly better lately. We've started packing cards that we can actually use which always helps uh, let's go for a tradable pack oh it's a special love that finish can that's litmanen is it a double not a double but we'll take the coins probably worth nothing yeah as predicted not even selling so he can just get discarded as can the rest of the pack thank you very much another special pack up that uh, tradable pack even up next i was hoping for another special but we didn't get it could be a walkout though it is indeed big old bakayo saka wow he's not even selling for three thousand coins um i'll keep him then we did get man united new boy at Mazarawi in there as well how good was he the other day fantastic and Hopefully the 85 by 10 should now be in view. They are. 
85 by 10 number one. Who are we going to get from this? Of course, a special. Serbian centre back. No. Wait, his card's not in packs, right? No, it's the, it's the worst version. <laughs> I thought we packed a, a massive duplicate then. We get Vidic and Costinha. Anyone else in here? Human, DRB, Pacho. That's a bit of a meh sort of pack. Nothing too insane. And 85 by 10, number two. Who are we going to get from this? Come on, big good. Irish, centre mid. That's going to be Roy Keane. Double walkout. Same guy again, EA, really? So this is going to be another dead pack then. Yeah, as predicted. Yeah, kind of crap. Anyway, we will use Costinha in another Evo, or another SBC. I'll put him into an 85 by 10. I'll do that off camera. What we're going to do, I think, is... Fame squad battles rewards. I don't even know what I've got here. Silver free. Well... Oh god, it's loan packs again. Um, well, we have unlocked a new level. What have we got? An 85 by 10. Look at that. Love it. Uh, daily login I completed off camera as well. Claim the rewards for that. Do you know what? I'm just going to... This is probably going to go badly, right? We're just going to jump into some champs because... I'm kind of like, eh, who cares about rivals anymore, you know? Yeah, we might as well. Right, let's end the playoffs. We went six and three. Very nice. Um, and Just to play some games, I guess, we'll go into champs finals. Let's do it. I'm not bothered about any rewards from this at all. I don't care if we win or lose. It's the end of the game. I just want to, yeah, I just want to play some games, really. Before we jump into the first game, then, how are we going to line up? I'm really, really tempted to try Rasmus here and see how he feels in that role. I think I will. So I think we're going to go Tevez, Rooney and Rasmus up top. We're going to have Berbatov, uh, Cantona, Vekhorst all on the bench. Yeah, I can't wait to try this team. Casemiro, what chem style? I know what I do want for him. I don't know that I've got one. I don't think I do. I don't. Um, I'll leave him on basic for now. Just get an all-rounded boost. Let's jump into game number one and see how we get on. All right, guys. I'll be honest. I've played the game already. I can't get on with this Rasmus card. I don't know why. So I'm going to swap him out for Veghorst, I think. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this card. I just can't get on with it really well. Maybe this isn't the right system for him. I don't know. Anyway, let's jump into game number one. And into game number one we go. We are up again. Come on. Road to R9. Hopefully he's not at the end of that road. Schmeichel. Company to Debo owner. He hasn't got R9. He has got Haaland. Cruyff Garincho. He's got 99 Beckham. Great. Let's see what happens. It's champs. I shouldn't be surprised, right? Well done, Vidic. That was a great tackle. It's gone straight back to Beckham. What a BS goal that is, man. Great tackle. Goes back to Beckham. Hits him. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe that's gone in. Even Rio done well there. It's just gone in off of him. So poor. Park. Rooney. Flipping out. Yeah, we'll take the penalty. Thank you very much. Get out. Jammy goals, bruv. Bottom corner. Let's go. Come on. 1-1. One, one. In the box then. Bruno. Big horse. Great save from Schmeichel. In the box again. Rio, free header. It's got to be a goal. I know the defender come out in the end, but... That was a really good chance. Cass. Rooney. Park. Finds Wayne Rooney. 
Oh, lovely little ball in. Without Veghorst. Back to Wayne Rooney. Oh, that was lovely play. I could have shot with Veghorst, but the angle wasn't right. I thought I'd wait for the run, and Rooney was there. Lovely. 2-1. Nice. Little dink. Vidic. Ah, careful. Rio. Oh, my God. Rio. Rio, what have you done to me? Haaland. I've given away a cheap goal. That's really poor. 2-2. Two, two. Cruyff. Damn it. Oh, Garincha makes it 3-2. Poor defending again. Rooney. Gordon Van Persie. Rooney. Ah. Oh. Pass it back. Mainu. Big host. Oh, Schmeichel with the save. Bruno in the box. Without Vic Hall's not going to get there. Beckham. Here goes Ronaldinho. Picking that stick again. Tevez. Tadebo. Flipping Tadebo. Nice Cass. Bruno. Rooney. Park. Rooney. Lovely move. Into Veghorst. Veghorst. Let's go. Lovely goal. 3-3. Three, three. Come on. Wan Bissaka. Wines Wayne Rooney. Oh, Tevez. Uh, Berbatov even. Cass. Well done. Park. Bruno. Rooney. Park. wan -Bissaka. Little dink in the box. Berbatov didn't get enough on it. Tevez. Park. Wayne Rooney. Let's go, Wayne. 4-3. Come on. Oh, that was big. The subs were... Made their impact. That's for certain. Berbatov over the top for Tevez. wan -Bissaka with the header. Why the goal? Rooney, wan -Bissaka. Park, play the ball out wide. Lovely stuff. Tellez, in the box. Dimitar, Berbatov, makes it 5-3 uh, even. Come on. Lovely stuff. Subs have been massive. Tevez. Dimitar, Berbatov. Dimitar, Berbatov, 6-3. Come on. This is how it should have been anyway. We gave away poor goals in this game. Really poor goals. But we've made up for it now. Rooney. Tellez. Back to Rooney. Oh, company was there. It goes Garincha. Harland's in. Schmeichel comes out and makes a save. That was... Uh, comfortable enough for him, to be fair. Walker with the slide tackle. Garincha. Nice, good block from Rio. David Beckham, good block there from Tellez. Give it a penalty, you joking? For what? Game's done, man. Bet he goes down the middle. He's going to take it with Schmeichel. I bet he celebrates. Yeah. Did the little dink. Didn't go down the middle, slightly to the right. There you go, and he's celebrating. Well done, you lost 6-4. We'll take the win. That's the most important thing. Predictable at the end, right? So, so predictable. That's what people do on this game. I don't care. Um, if I'm honest, forget the last goal. I, I don't even know why it was a penalty, but we'll move past that for a sec. If we move past that last goal, his goals were really poor to concede. But the first one was an error. No, the first one was pure BS, where it just deflected everywhere. Goes in the back of the net somehow. Uh, in fact, let's have a look, see if they're on here. So this is the Rio own goal, right? So I'm like, yeah, defended that well. Vidic has done well. Schmeichel saves it into Rio and it bounces into the back of the net. I mean, honestly. Honestly, what is that? Off the post as well for good measure. Um, then we go 1-1 with a penalty because that annoyed me conceding that first goal. Then we go 2-1 up with Wayne Rooney. This was a nice bit of patient build-up play. Veghorst into Wayne Rooney. Lovely finish. 
Then he goes 2-2 two, two. again. I'm on the... I'm at, yeah, that's poor. I'm at the back playing around with the ball too much and it cost me. Then Garincha again, poor defensively from me. Like a move Vidic out of position and it's a, a finesse shot from the edge of the box, right? It's always going to go in, especially with someone like Garincha. Then we started pulling it back. I had to sort of snap out of it a bit, wake up. Veghorst gets us back into the game for 3-3. Sales company a dream sends him flying. It's a lovely little finish as well. Then Wayne Rooney steps up. And the subs were so important in this game. Lovely little finish from Wayne Rooney there. Berbatov. Nice little dink in the box from Tellez. Lovely little finish on his left foot. And then again Berbatov steps up. Round the defender. Was that company again that he sold? Lovely finish again. Not going to watch his penalty. I'll take that. Really, really happy with the result. Could be better on the defensive side of things. I know I'm trying to improve. We'll get there. I promise you guys, we'll get there. Let's jump into game number two. In fact, guys, before we jump into game number two, in Evolutions, we have completed the first level of Rio Ferdinand. He goes up to a 94. One passing, one dribbling, two interceptions, two defensive awareness and two standing tackle. Let's claim that. Very nice indeed. Obviously, the level we want is the one that's going to give him another playstyle plus. Which is the final level. Uh, Wayne Rooney, we need to play one more game and he will be complete. At which point, I guess we will probably work on Cass because he's in the starting 11. Who, by the way, I have to say, was fantastic again at centre-back so so good anyway i'm waffling on way too much here let's just jump in to game number two and into game number two we go we are up against we got oblak walker sure many carver how bomb pasta gaioro a wrench of dabala harland up top lovely four three two one let's see how we got on Let's try and sharpen up a little bit defensively. Van Persie's got a good early start out on this left-hand side. Into Veghorst. Mainu. Oh, terrible ball. Nice, Cass. Calm it down. Cass. Bruno. Or oh, poor pass again. Be a little bit more patient with the build-up play. Veghorst is in though and Veghorst makes it 1-0. Let's go. Put the ball in the box. Kyle Walker. Right, come on. Cass. That's it. Get the switch going. Rio's there. Park. I've got a funny feeling this guy might quit. Van Persie. Back sticks. Wayne Rooney. Let's go, Wayne. 2-0. Lovely goal. Great cross. Great finish. He's brought on Shoshenko for Dybala. Bruno in the box. Veghorst. Veghorst. Oh, he's made it three, boys. 3-0. Come on. Lovely little header. Oh, watch it. Tevez. Van Persie in the box. Rooney unlucky. Tevez. Mainu. Damn it. The fruit. The fruit. Garincha. 3 1. Damn it. 3 2. This pink. Tevez. Terrible ball. Shevchenko into Haaland. Haaland. Flipping out, it's 3-3. Free free. Oh, there's every chance we lose this game now. Bruno. Tevez. Tevez in the box. Wayne Rooney headed it down. Oblak, another save from Berbatov, who was offside. Oh, frustration. Good defending. Tevez. 
Berbatov, no. Oh, Park's done well. Rooney. Finds Dimitar, Berbatov, let's go. 4-3, come on. Big goal. Park. Nice. Uh, finds Rooney this time. Go on, Wayne. Go on, Wayne. Wayne Rooney won the goal, Wayne. Come on. We're literally in the last minute of the game. Do not do anything poor or defensively stupid. That's... Yeah, that's fine. Vidic. Get it out. Love it. Oh, man. We made that tough for ourselves. I'm not going to lie. Um, we were freeing it up and cruising. <laughs> this guy was a good player. Look, he had a good team. But I think we just edged it. And I, th I think that was the right result overall. Um... Whenever you come up against that 99 Haaland, it's always difficult. Garincha was a pain again. Yeah, I just think overall, we just had the players. I mean, he probably had the better team on paper, right? So he had Haaland, Dybala, he had Garincha, Shevchenko came on, Bomati. Yeah, he had he had a mental team. Carl Walker and Chouameni at centre back were so annoying. But overall, I think we've done enough. And the right result eventually did happen. Giving the three goals up was a bit poor. Um, yeah, but I think we did enough. All right, then. So we're technically two and one because you guys have missed a game. However, we'll take it. Not too bad. If we go over to live, you'll see we've done play six in champs for a pack. Very nice. Daily play is complete. Fantastic. And daily play completionist as well. Honestly, this week I'm not too fussed by daily play completionist because the players just don't mean nothing to us. Um, Swanson, we will claim... Oh, hello. The packs. And then in seasonal, daily objectives also. Getting close to the next level, actually. What is the reward? A TIFO. And then it's the 84 by 20. That's the one we really want. I mean, with three days left, we seem to be getting a lot of XP. Would we... Could we complete the... I mean, I don't want the Harland or the Garincha, but... We might get this 86 by 11, possibly. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Into Evos, then. We have complete... Wayne Rooney. We've got him up to the 96 overall. It's one hell of a card. Honestly. What a great card. That does mean we can now start working on Casemiro. So him and of course Rio will be worked on next episode. But I think for now what we're going to do is we're going to go and open up some packs. Actually, we've got 45 in the store. Oh, my word. I know there's three, what, loan packs. Let's do these tradable ones. They're always easy to get rid of. Actually, I've got to use this Costinha. Right. Here's going to be the plan. I'm going to go and build out 285 by 10s. I think we've got one from the objective sitting in here already. I'm going to open some of the bad packs off camera. And if I pack anyone good, I'll come back and let you know. If not... I'll see you in a minute and we'll open up some good packs. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we've got the 85 by 10s here. We packed a couple of specials, nothing too crazy. So I've left them out. I think we got a Sanchez and there were some Austrian Tots team of the season who, again, it was a moments card, right? It's going to go into an SBC. So I cut them out of the video. However, we've got some 85 by 10s. Let's see who we're going to get. First and foremost, then. Who is it going to be? English. DM. It's going to be a Casey Zalem, who is a dupe. And second one could be quite big then. Looks like it's another team of the season card. And it's, is that DeMarco? It is indeed. It was very expensive at one point, I believe. I might be wrong. Um, Casey Zalem, I'm just going to go and pop into an exchange, I think. Let's do another 85 by 10. I might as well regen one, right? I'll build this. I'll see you guys back in the store. 
All right, 85 by 10, number two. Who are we going to get? Another Tots card. Brazilian. Centre mid. Oh, it's Fred. We'll take a Fred. We will take a Fred. And Giroud, who I think is a dupe. If he's a dupe, I might end it here. I'm going to end it here. And I'll tell you why. I'd rather put him into... To be honest, I'd rather save him and put him into an icon pick for next episode. So... But now, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all very soon indeed.